Edgar Award, Mystery Writers of America, big deal, first of a uh, trilogy. I read uh, a lot of crime fiction and have for a long time. James Lee Burke is one of my favorites. This novel, the Barry Holland series, takes place in East Texas. I've been reading this Akasic Noir crime fiction series. It's about cities in uh, the United States and around the world, really, and I'm going to be reviewing it. I haven't read all of them. There's a lot. I've read most of them. There's not one in Houston, for Houston or Dallas either yet. There is one for the Lone Star Noir, but, yeah, Lone Star Noir. For example, here's Mississippi Noir. In Alabama, where I grew up, we had a saying, thank God for Mississippi, otherwise we'd be at the bottom of everything. Welcome to the bottom. I'm currently reading Hard Rain Falling, Don Carpenter, and this is a crime fiction novel. It takes place in Portland, Oregon. And I've been wanting to get to this novel, On the Yard, by Malcolm Braley. Introduction by Jonathan let them. And I'm not trying to brag, but when I go into stores, Rite Aid, uh, whatever, where I look at the uh, bestsellers and you see uh, my Jack Reacher, you know, Lee Child, uh, Michael Conley, uh, John Grisham has new ones out, um, on and on. Jonathan Kellerman, all that, I just fit it. And how I've done it is, I went to college, and I liked it so much I stayed for about 10 years, and I was also lucky enough to uh, spend a lot of time in jail in Maricopa County, Phoenix area, as well as uh, some stints in prison. And I've been honest and open about that. I've given my number out, because uh, I'm open. Huh? Sure. You know, it wasn't for drugs, it wasn't for this book. I'm just, I say all that to say this. I know a great crime fiction novel and a great writer when I read one. And just from the get-go, um, basically, there, you know, it's it's a mystery. It's plotted out. There's so there's mm, maybe four or five plots, and the ending I won't give away, of course, but it's. You can see the continuation of this thread. The main character is on this side, Darren Matthews. He's black, um, very intelligent, was in law school, um, decided to be a Texas Ranger in East Texas, backwoods, small rural community, and and that's where the fun begins. Winds up, black dead guy in the back, um, and then a white woman winds up dead, drowned in the back of this cafe. Uh, the point is, okay, we've got a Texas, a black Texas Ranger involved, and he's testifying, he's about ready to lose his badge. <laughs> <coughs> sometimes does things without his badge. Sometimes it's more um, fruitful for him to use his badge. Sometimes not. Uh, the blues is uh, embedded in this novel. The history of the blues. 
real people and fictionalized people, a certain guitar, a 56 Gibson Les Paul guitar is uh, involved in this. The writing is just impeccable. Locke's uh, talent for describing detail is just phenomenal. It, there, there was a string of colorful bulbs haloed over the door that led to the kitchen, a few feet behind a countertop that was also festooned with colored lights. The cord twisted and sticky with dried ketchup and barbecue sauce where it had been stapled to the warped plywood underneath. The calendars on the back wall by the kitchen were all turned to the final month of the year, pictures of poinsettias and pinecone wreaths and baby Jesus aglow. Hmm, diner. I'll call it a diner. It's not a restaurant because it's half a diner and then there's a barber shop tucked in back and then you can... It's typical uh, and reminiscent of my experience living in Moultrie, Georgia, southwest Georgia. There's uh, boiled peanuts, uh, the way they uh, cook things, uh, fried pies, they're like fried pies. Uh, well, they're exactly like Hostess, whatever, uh, Apple things are better, homemade. But you can get them. Uh, so, okay, and, and I'm leaving out like the a main part. The Aryan Brotherhood is involved in this. The Aryan Brotherhood of Texas. Now, I can get picky about one detail in here, and she mentions it at least uh, three times, and it's early on. She says that you have to kill a black person to get initiated into the AB, and that's not true. How do I know that? All my experience with the AB in prison? You know, Wikipedia, link below. Initiation into the ABT required a black body didn't matter which one, as long as you skinned it yourself. Uh, nuances and insight into black life and culture. <laughs> Did I fail to mention that uh, Darren, the black Texas Ranger, is, a, is an alcoholic drinking, and his mother is an alcoholic as well. Uh, the characters and families and situations are tied in so intricately from East Texas and ties to Chicago and Detroit and the blues and the love story and history and just great, great writing. I can't say enough good things about it and I don't have to. It won the, the Edgar Award. So, if you like me, you like crime fiction, mysteries, up-to-date, contemporary, modern, real talk, uh, pull no punches, hard boil, da da This is a uh, shit. Yeah, check it out. Okay, here's a great example of her attention to detail and how she builds suspense. Wally, Darren called. Hearing no response, he started around the back of the house, coming within inches of a black lab on its chain. It lurched toward Darren, barking and snarling. The dog came so close that Darren could feel its hot, moist... Uh, the dog came so close that Darren could feel its hot, moist breath through his pants leg. He slid by the dog, pressing his body against the side of the house. The rough edges of the brick the rough edges of the red brick wall stabbing him down the center of his back. A flutter of birds fleeing nearby trees, as if they knew something he didn't, could sense trouble coming. Darren felt it, too, a stillness around him that he didn't trust. The sign advertised boiled peanuts, but the gal who set up a stand on the bed of her pickup truck was also peddling pears and pepper jelly homemade and when she saw the five-point star pin to his shirt, she offered him a free pumpkin. She had a box of the lumpy gourds at her feet. Yeah, I remember these um, little shacks and roadside things. 
You could buy canned jellies and relish. Oh, I bought some of this jalapeno relish. It was the best I've ever had. Uh, 